Joining me right now from Capitol Hill is House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us right now. Okay, can you walk us through what happened last night? I mean, here we are yesterday watching the markets rally 350 points, a lot of optimism about what your colleagues and yourself have done in your chamber. And then once again, we see a snag hit in the Senate. Can you walk us through what went on? Well, what went on last night is, remember, we're trying to make major tax cuts and reform uh, through a process that in the Senate still lives on old rules. And it goes back to a Senate rule, an old uh, bird rule. This is an element that Corker put into the bill, and it doesn't meet the criteria. If it was in the bill, it takes 60 votes. So the parliamentarian told them that it would not rule in their favor going forward. That caused some disturbance, so all they did was take a pause, work through the night. You watched Senator Daines come forward. He was on the fence. He's now for it. I just got off the phone with a few senators. I think they solved this problem, and they're able to move forward and pass that bill today. Uh, I announced yesterday that we're going to call the House back in. We, we were supposed to come in next week, Tuesday through Friday. We're going to come back in on Monday because we believe the Senate will get this done today. We will vote Monday to go to conference, which will get both bills inside conference together, work out our differences, and get this done before the end of the year. Well, how much of it is the fact that we're seeing personal issues between people like Bob Corker and the president, Jeff Flake and the president? Is this personal fights getting in the way of legislation that needs to happen to make the American people see progress? I don't know if it's personal. I know they care about the debt. We, everybody cares about the debt. But the only way you're going to solve the debt is to grow this economy and do something about the entitlements. This is really doing something about the debt, getting people to work again, let people keep more of their money. And in the end, more money will come into the uh, revenues into government. So you're saying that you're going to bring everybody back next week and you believe that they are going to pass this in the Senate today. I know they're coming back at 11 a.m. You think that they've worked out their differences in terms of the debt. I think they've worked out differences enough to get this bill through. We will then go to conference. We'll take the Senate version, however it ends up at the end of the day. We'll take the House version of what we passed in this bill. We'll put members from both uh, houses in the Senate in a conference, work out the differences, bring that back, vote in both houses, and send it down to the president for a signature. Are you expecting the 20 percent corporate rate to be permanent? Yes. Any change to that doesn't make sense. Right. We want to get this country moving again. And watch what the studies have said. If we lower the corporate rate to 20, that brings $4,000 more into households. It's really dealing with the individuals and getting more money into individuals across this country. What about Ron Johnson saying, look, the corporate's at 20, the pastor's at 25, he wanted changes there. Uh, I guess you were talking about perhaps moving into 22%. Is that still on the table? Well, if you watch uh, Senator Steve Daines, he was with Ron John on this issue. He came out today, said they made progress last night onto the 23 and the deduction of what they were looking for. I still believe the House version is better on the pass-throughs if you look at what it's able to provide for small business. You know, I created my first small business when I was 20. That is what creates more jobs in this country than anything else. And I believe with Steve Daines coming on board, it's a sign that Ron Johnson should be able to get there as well. Are you going to keep in this trip? that Bob Corker was pushing? I mean, it, it, you can't, right? Because it goes against rules. So is that now off the table? Well, it was not in the House version. And, right, uh, I know I'm, that. I'm one who, I don't understand how you're doing a tax cut bill with trying to put in a tax increase. Exactly. It makes no sense to me. Um, it didn't pass the parliamentarian rule on the bird rule in the Senate, so it's very difficult to be in there. I think they'll look for other ways to um, get the concerns of Senator Corker and Flake back in board that they can be with this bill, and I, I believe at the end of the day they will be. What could it be? What, what are the other sort of levers to push in terms of uh, making him feel comfortable with, with this bill should the growth not be there? Well, there's other ways to find if they're concerned about how much money is being spent. You can make some cuts in other places. And I think uh, that's all on the table. They'll look at it. I know they were discussing it last night. I think Senator Flake was in a better position at the end of the night from what I'm hearing. But uh, I'll wait until both of them speak for themselves to see where they are. And what do you think? And 11 o'clock will be the right time to watch what? the vote. Okay. What do you think about the individual mandate? Does, does that stay or go? 
Uh, right now, I see it staying in the Senate, and it's not in the House version. But if it comes into conference, it could stay in the in the final bill as we move forward. Because you'll look at whatever differences there are, have the conference work together, and that adds a great deal amount of money and savings. But think what the individual mandate is. There were 19 million people last year instead of um, for Obamacare, either paid the penalty yeah. or took a waiver. Right. So it's a tax upon individuals, and if we're looking at tax cuts, that's an element of where you can find a pretty good tax cut that hits the lower income of America. If this doesn't go through, Congressman, are you expecting to get voted out? I mean, who, who's accountable here if, in fact, this fails? If this doesn't go through, I don't know why the members stay around here from the standpoint is this is what they promised to do. And it's not about your election. This is about the country. Mm -hmm. If you want the next century to be America's, America, this is, the, this is the chance and the opportunity to do it. When you look around the world, it shows America is, again, taking up big ideas, moving the world in a pattern of what we want to see, and having uh, the next opportunity for the future generation. Well, in retrospect, could there have been things done differently to actually bring people together? I mean, I'm just I had a conversation with two congressmen, each on different sides of the aisle, and they, they couldn't agree on anything. And I'm thinking, well, this is the problem. You know, should there have been, should things have been done, even on the president's level, so that these fights did not get in the way of actually moving forward and having progress? You know, there's going to be debates, and that's fine. This is a place to have debates. But it's not about here anymore. It's about this country. No longer is it that one side wins. It has to destroy yeah. another side. Whatever happened at the end of the day, in my business world, I would find an agreement that both sides won on. I've got something that I want. You were able to achieve something you want, and the whole country won. So you I agree think when then. you look at this bill. So you yeah. agree then, if, if this doesn't go through, then members shouldn't stick around, then you should get voted out. You agree. Well, if you, if you made a commitment to get this through, and you cannot make it happen, I don't see how you go back to the voters. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'm proud of what this House has been able to achieve. You look at all the elements that we promised, we achieved it. I was looking at this company, Quorum, where they just go on data, and they looked at the uh, first 100 days. This has been the most productive Congress in the last, uh, back to H.W. Bush, but unfortunately, on the Senate side, it hasn't had the same result. You're right. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter if you just don't get through the finish line, right? You have done exactly. a lot, but it just doesn't matter if at the end of the day, it hasn't actually made progress. We're going to be watching. Obviously, the American people are hoping that you get this done. Uh, so we'll be watching at 11 a.m. Let me switch gears now sure. and ask you about what happened last night. A jury finds undocumented immigrant Garcia Zarate not guilty in the murder of Kate Steinle. Zarate had been deported five times. He was wanted for a sixth deportation at the time of Steinle's shooting in San Francisco in 2015. You're from California. The Department of Justice is now considering federal charges on the case. What's your reaction to this this morning? It's just so appalling. I, I can, my heart goes to Kate's family. This is a crime that has never, should have never taken place. This individual not only has been deported five times, he had a number of felonies. He never should have been released from jail. It, it, it is appalling that we don't live under the rule of law. You cannot sit back in a city like San Francisco and pick and choose what rule of law you want to live under. This is the United States of America, and I think the rest of the country is appalled by this. So what are you going to do about it? Well, if you watched in the House, we have passed Kate's law. It is sitting in the Senate. I hope when they get done with tax, they take that up and send it to the president's desk. This should never happen to another family. This should not happen in this country. There is no reason why the number of failings, failings this individual had and the number of times this person came illegally across the border shot and murdered an American citizen. That should not take place in this country again. For sure. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much. So good to see you. House Thank Majority you. Leader Kevin McCarthy joining us right there.